What do you do with malfunction gas burners, broken spoons, or leaking sufurias? You will most probably throw them away. Well, for 29-year-old Kamau Wanjaroge from Gilgil, these are his source of livelihood. The raw material for making decor items that end up beautifying your living room. Find out how on tonight's episode of The Young and Industrious. After driving for 121 kilometers from Kenya's capital, Nairobi, we are finally here at Gilgil in Nakuru County with our destination, Shalian Scrap Metal Workshop, clearly beckoning. The inevitable untidiness speaks volumes to the nature of work that goes on in here. What may appear as end product is actually the raw material for Kamau Wanjaroge's thriving business. 29-year-old Kamau Wanjaroge holds a Bachelor of Arts from Kenyatta University, but he is making a good living out of his artistic career, a passion he developed when he was a KU student. I didn't want to go to Juakali because the person who will be teaching me Juakali, in Juakali there is a lot of limitations. He did some research and then I, through my dad, he told me about Komboni Polytechnic. I came here, I was amazed that there are so many resources, there's so much that is happening in the institution. When he arrived and saw what the school offers, he knew that is what he wanted. All he needed was some seed capital to buy scrap metal to start implementing his business idea. I was trying to make something sort of a trophy. After that, I discovered uh, it's not coming out as I wished, so I went and looked for a map of Africa template and now I started using the template to, to weld on. I, I wanted not just to weld but to weld something creatively. So that is where my niche is, welding creatively. Making deco items became Kamau Wanjaroge's niche. He later introduced the making of miniature products. I started with the motorbikes, some scorpions. I'm surprised that people really appreciate them. A mother sees uh, the spoons and she's like, wow, these are like the spoons that in my house. I should bring you some of my spoons. So, and they want to buy for their kid because they say the way that the waste is used will spark up an idea in, the, in, their, kids, in their kids' thinking. Jaroge purchases a kilogram of scrap metal at 100 shillings and a kg of the same makes him about two bikes. One bike goes for 2,000 Kenyan shillings. A kg will make me, let's say, about two bikes because right now I've bought about four bearings and uh, four bearings, those are two bikes and uh, the motorcycle and plus the few things like the amateur that I bought there. He is in the process of expanding his enterprise, but some challenges here and there. We need to keep on producing and sell at the same time because right now I'm using my personal savings and purchasing metal every day, it's costly, it's cheap. They're selling it cheaply, but in the long run, it gets expensive. <laughs> 